Dr. McWheelie. It's Dr. McWheelie's workshop. And that's her there. She's watching her toy flower. Hello, Dr. McWheelie. Could you show us your toy? The flower's leaves are moving, but it doesn't need batteries. It runs on light. Even the light from that lamp is enough for it to work. But if you cover the solar panel, the leaves stop moving. What if we made a car that could run on sunlight? Dr. McWheelie is going to tell us just how that would work now. Listen. This is the same sort of panel the toy flower has, but bigger. The panel catches the sunlight and it produces electricity. That electricity could turn a wheel with a motor. But if the sun goes away, say a cloud covers it, the electricity stops being produced. The car comes to a stop. We can't let that happen, so we're going to use rechargeable batteries. We're going to store the sun's energy in them. The batteries will stay charged and we'll be able to run the engine using their energy. So, it doesn't matter if the sun's shining. We could even drive at night. That will be the perfect car. Let's call it the Sunmobile. Let's get to building it. Let's pick a frame, something light but sturdy. A metal called aluminum should do here. It's light but firm. We'll add some shock absorbers so the car can handle bumps. Some old bicycle wheels should do the job. The back wheels are going to have some electric motors. It's already starting to look like a car. Will it be able to support Dr. McWheelie's weight? Wonderful! Time to think about a seat. That's an office chair. If you take the arms off it and remove the base, then you get a comfy car seat. Sit down, Dr. McWheelie. That looks good. What do you think? Is something missing? Of course! The wheel! Now we can start adding the electric bits. We'll put some solar panels on the roof. And a controller for managing the charge. At the bottom, we'll put the battery where the sun's energy will be stored. We'll add a pedal to control the engine, too. Let's test it. The pedal's working! Headlights and rear lights so we can drive at night. Time for a test run! Now that's fast! Dr. McWheelie was almost blown away! <laughs> that's because we forgot the windshield! We can drive outside now that we have that. It's working perfectly! The Sunmobile can drive! Oh! She got mud on her face! Hmm, we've still got improvements to make. Some wings should keep the dirt from the wheels away. They're not like the ones on airplanes. They're made especially for cars. A body wouldn't go amiss either. Let's put some doors in too, so that it's comfortable to get in and out. 
What a super sunmobile! Let's go on a journey! We could travel through cities, through woods and parks, even through uninhabited wilderness. It would be fun to go and look around, right? You can still make stops while you're traveling, though. You can go fishing. You can set up a campfire, too, if it's allowed. That's how Dr. McWheelie spent her time traveling. But now it's time for her to get ready for bed. Dr. McWheelie This is Dr. McWheelie's. Here she is. Oh, she's got a message. Who has sent it? A small red car. Oh, it's run out of fuel. It's stuck in the car park. On the red floor. In the spot with the letter A. <laughs> to help the car, we need to take petrol to the car park. Is a can of petrol. Let's go to the car park. The multi level parking is located in the city centre. It should be a large building. Where is it? Are we there? Yes! This is the car park. Let's find your friend, Dr. McQueely. There's a plan on the wall. Excellent. The red floor is number four. On this floor, there is a parking spot with the letter A. Let's go there. You can go up the ramp. Forward, keep going, keep going. And we're already on the second floor. Oh, the way up to the third floor is closed. No problem, we'll find another way. Oh, wow! It's an elevator for cars. Let's take the elevator. Mm. 
Floor number four. Oh, it's closed too for repairs. We can't get out here. Let's go up then. Floor number five. We can drive down the ramp and we're there. Parking spots with the letter A are on this side. We are close now. Here's the ramp. Dr. McQueely drove down to the fourth floor and immediately saw the red car. It was waiting in a spot with the letter A. Car, we've brought you some petrol. Open the petrol tank. Done! But there wasn't a lot of petrol in the can. You must go to the petrol station. Let's go together. Follow me. Exit for the car park. The petrol station is on this road. Off you go. Bye bye, Dr. McQueely. Dr. McQueely. This is Dr. McQueely's garage. A very dirty car has arrived. I wonder what has happened to it. Why hasn't it washed itself? The car said that before it was beautiful and shiny. It had travelled a lot in the rain and the snow and always washed itself afterwards. But one day, the mud just wouldn't come off. Can you help Dr. McQueely? Hmm, first we'll have to wash you. Come closer. Stop! Let's pour water all over you. Now we'll wash you with foam. Let's see if the mud stays on after that. Dirt hasn't come off, so it's not mud, it's rust. 
cars are made of metal and the metal rusts when it's constantly wet. We need to remove the rust. Let's take off the wheels. The hood and the doors. Then we'll clean and paint them separately. No need to paint the headlights and the radiator grill. They haven't rusted. Let's remove the rear light too. They just get in the way. Now we'll begin the repair. This is a sandblasting machine. It will remove the rust and old paint. The sandblaster produces a powerful jet of sand and air. They blast off the rust. This tank is filled with plain river sand. And this hose supplies the tank and the mixer with air. Air and sand are mixed and thrown out with a special pistol. It's time to turn on the machine. Look! The rust and the old paint just disappeared. All done. Now we can start painting. Let's choose a colour. Our car will be bright orange. Beautiful. Now let's reattach the removed parts. New wheel. The hood. The radiator grill. Front lights and rear lights. And the doors. The car has turned out bright and shiny, like an orange. Little car, the repair is finished. You can go now. Thank you, Dr. McQueely. Until next time.